Hi, I'll show you how to create KML files for Google Earth in Excel. Basic idea is to input values in those cells and transfer them into a list. Let's start by picking a pair of coordinates. Somewhere randomly taken. Okay, insert place mark and simply copy latitude and longitude and paste them into Excel. For some name, then paste latitude back here, copy and paste longitude and object height. Okay, add to list. Oh, yeah, those letters define hemisphere. Add to list. Let's create second point. Again, some name. Let's move our place mark. You can again copy new set of coordinates, but you can also enter them manually, like 36 space 11, or in each cell. Now, when there's no letters in the cells, you need to take northwest quadrant or, or proper quadrant. We can save side to the site list. See, when I click save to list, coordinates are transformed and my site appears at the end of the list. Advice is to always have them in alphabetical order. Here it is now. Okay, add to a list. This is our second point. I have one more option to search for sites that are already saved. Just put some criteria and you'll get drop down list where you can select previously saved site. You can save it, see? So the names must be unique. Other ways to it's a search site by user form. Just start typing and use up and down arrows either in filter site or in all sites. Okay, for filtered sites, this was criteria. Remember, before you can change that criteria, of course and export to KML, that's it. Files will be saved in this directory. You can change name to your local folder, something like my documents or something. I won't do it here, but here is our file. Let's run it and see how it looks like. Yeah, okay. A yellow line. Uh, this line can be changed. I mean, color of the line can be changed, and also the background. See those colors in those cells? You can change them. I'll show you soon. Clear list. And let's create a polygon. I'll I'll just add sites one, two, three, four, five, and at the end I'll put first site again. So I have all of them. If you don't want some site, just delete number of the row and export to KMZ. There is a file. In this cell, you can define some other name if you don't want automatically to take it. Let's export again. And here it is Pentagon. Mm, this is our file. 
Oh, I took coordinates previously and just saved them into list. So you can start try that. I can change colors here in like some blue, dark blue and light blue and I can change transparency and line thickness export again it will be saved in the same site because it's the same name okay this is altitude mode uh, let me show what that present here's short guide but I'll just open some previously created files in Mount Everest area let's fly there We are okay. See this yellow line? How it's going from one side to other? This is claimed to ground mode. It follow uh, our surface. Okay. If I want direct line of sight, I choose relative to ground, and that's where object height is important. Okay, see see the difference. Once again, if you have saved sites, you can search them either by site name or by area, and you can use user form to add them to the list. Okay. Next feature is okay those are sites don't have blank sites next feature is how to import image into Google Earth I'll delete those values first choose some site from previously filtered site rotate image by some angle and define how big your picture is I'll put 100 kilometers. Here choose picture and for that just enter folder where your picture is stored and click refresh. You'll get list of files in the folder. Now you can put and just choose your picture and export. Let's check how big is and it's around 100 kilometers watch out when you are close to the north and south pole your picture can become slightly distorted again I just change sight and, and angle I'll use same picture uh, see how you can change height is okay but width uh, can vary uh, so be, be careful ok back to the file ok so once again here you can refresh files from the folder and choose picture uh, let me change now some other picture ok I'll 
I forgot to tell you the transparency uh, can be changed from zero no transparency to the 100 and that's all for for this video clear button if you have any questions write me at free.space.loss at gmail file can be downloaded from link below this video or I can send you via email I, I know this was fast tutorial but I hope you will be able to use file and create your own files see you in next video